So for my next adventure, I'm going to install this uh, digital planer readout from, I want to say, Wixie. I know Pixie is spelled that way, but Wixie just looks like it should be Wixie or something. Anyway, um, I saw these recently, and they're pretty awesome. A lot of versatility. It shows you exactly where you're at. And then with the buttons up here, you can also dial in how much you're taking off in addition to what the actual setting is. So if you, once you have this calibrated, which is super easy, if you want to take off a sixteenth of an inch, you can dial it until, you can control that setting, and then you dial your depth until it shows a sixteenth of an inch, and that's what's going to take off, versus that's what the actual thickness is. So the accuracy of it looks pretty impressive. It's super easy to calibrate. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on here real quick. Hopefully without a hitch. And we can follow along. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside other than the scale. Hopefully some instructions. Okay, so we got spring, we got hardware, a bag within a bag, within a box, it's been shut. Looks like it's got the required drill bit. We've got nuts and bolts. feels cheap. Two AAA batteries, which I should in italics have inside. This space down here is where you calibrate and then you measure uh, the board you currently are cutting and how so you can determine how much to take off and add to it. Or, well, not add to it, but... Alright, this looks pretty straightforward. Let's get started. I might have to take it out of my odd spot for it just to make it more accessible, but um, I'm not sure if I got a better location for it. Let's see. This is the DeWalt 735, as you probably already know, and step one is to remove this red bracket. Also time for replacements, you can see I've really got nothing left on this. So that's what I'm using as my straight edge. Step one is, or step two, step one was to remove the um, digital readout. You know, this is bent. See this? What is that? See that? To me, that looks bent. Significantly. I don't know. It's very soft. OK. 
Okay, and now it's mostly straight. It's got this adhesive backing on there, so you can stick it on temporarily. Uh, you obviously want to make sure you clean it with uh, denatured alcohol or something first. But we're going to attach it with screws permanently. So step one is to align this bottom still look bent, with the bottom of the planer. I'm going to bring it right here and try and hold it in place. Okay, so it can be slightly higher. So I'm gonna make it slightly higher just so I don't have any issues. And then all we gotta do is align align it vertically. Align it with the existing one. Double check, make sure it didn't drop. And then we're gonna attach it. So I'm going to use the double adhesive to get it attached and then I'm gonna screw it in. I've got it joined on with the adhesive. I'm going to use the screws to make it permanent. This is the drill bit that came with it. Move down. And depending on which plane, or yeah, which thickness planer you have, this is required. And this is one of the ones that's required anyway. So. Very slow because there's only about an eighth of an inch behind there. And now there is supposed to be some self tapping screws that go in there. I don't know which ones they are. Okay, just appears to be those two. Okay, so it comes with a variety of these different brackets here, and it's going to depend on which planer you've got which one you can use. This one is fits a lot of them. You're going to reuse those uh, the original holes with the original screws, so hopefully we didn't throw those away. And then this piece also. So we'll stack this up and it goes like this. Make sure you can see that. And do this and film at the same time, it's not working. The next step is uh, easier if you take this piece out and work on it separately, okay? So, on the side of the measuring box is this little screw that for whatever reason I am incapable of holding on to. It is a lot easier to, you're gonna have to attach this piece. It goes onto this bracket here, and then it goes onto this bracket here, but it is a thousand times easier to just bolt it on here and then reassemble everything. 
So that's what I'm going to try and do because it's probably going to make it really hard here too. This black edge right here, rubbery, is what's going to be the uh, your depth readout on here. So let's go ahead and try and put this on here. This one's a lot easier. I did this once already. Of course, now it won't be. Slide that up some. Let's get that out of the way for now. make sure these ones back here the original screws are tightened up I've read through the instructions several times and I cannot find where the step was where this spring was supposed to be installed it just says to make sure that this drops down under the weight of the you know the power of the spring and you can see where it goes but that's it there's no step simple enough. You just spring it on there. And it does. So that's easy. I'm not sure when the ideal opportunity to put that in is. So I've added batteries. I'm going to play with this digital display. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it. and We'll see what happens. So on. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, ABS, you got absolute and incremental, and then you can toggle between millimeters and inches. Nope, that's incremental. That's millimeters and inches. All right, so inches, millimeters, incremental. So my understanding of it is absolute means literally the thickness of the cut you are going to make. Increments is, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, when you want to take off a 16th of an inch, or you want to take off a 32nd of an inch, that's what the increment is, is, is how much you're going to uh, subtract from the actual amount. So for calibration, it is, you're going to hold this down for a few seconds and it will start blinking. And the calibration step, my understanding of it is, I haven't used it yet, I don't think you can see it. Down here in the bottom, you'll lift this up and you can set that underneath. And that's going to give you the actual thickness of this. However, I haven't made any cuts. That's just literally just the thickness of this. So let's go ahead and stop that. How do I stop that? Stop calibrating. Right, so we're going to try and make a couple cuts, play with this, and we'll see what happens.
So this gives me a comfortable starting point. It was pretty rough before. Um, you can see on here the numbers are changing as it went down. However, we're obviously not taking that. I think that's saying we took off uh, 0.46 inches from where we were at, but that's not what I want. So let's calibrate this and see what happens next. All right, calibration is simple. So you can see it down here. We got that foot we talked about earlier. We're gonna lift this up and you're gonna put any point of the board through. I'm using the center just because it's easier for me to just leave it in place and kind of keep it balanced. So obviously if it's twisted, it's gonna increase that level. It's gonna throw off the calibration. The rounded foot helps that because it helps get down to a quick center point. And then we're gonna go up here to calibrate. We're gonna hold this for three to five seconds. See ABS blinking, it's at zero. Press again, it should stop blinking. That's zero. That tells us that this is digitally calibrated to the actual thickness that this board is taking. So that says 0.57. Now, I don't know if that's accurate or not. I'm going to get my calipers and we're going to find out. So 0.57, calipers are at zero. Put it on there. And it says 0.562 and a half. So that's real close, 0.57. Now I didn't measure the end. I didn't calibrate off the end. I measured off, calibrated off the beginning and the middle of it. I can't even speak English today. I didn't calibrate it off the end. I calibrated it at the middle point. So let's see what the midpoint reading is. And I'm getting. 0.569 and a half. 0.561 is twisting. 0.567 and a half. 0.571. Yeah, that's pretty accurate in my opinion. So let's take a couple passes and see how this works. Now I'll try, we'll do a demonstration with the absolute and another demonstration in increments. All right, so we established that this is in the middle at least, where it's calibrated to 0.57 inches. I wanna make this 0.5 exactly. So I'm gonna dial it down until we are exactly at 0.5 and a half. Got full fraction, look at that. Oh, too far. No, no, 0.5, that is a half, yeah, half inch. Redundant. Okay, we'll get dust collection and this going. Set at zero. So much glare, I can't tell what you can see and what you can't. Point four nine nine and a half. Point five zero zero even. Point five zero zero five. Yeah, I think that's accurate enough for woodworking. Now I want to measure the thickness of a board. I've got this extra piece of hickory here. We need to switch over to increment until it's at zero. I'm going to lift this up, just like we did to calibrate it. I'm going to put this in there. And this says that it is 815, and then a fraction pops up. So those fractions are going to pop up every time we hit a standard fraction. So 13 16 is where we're at. I want to remove a 16th of an inch. 
So we're going to go to absolute. And we're going to dial this down to 13 sixteenths. Right there. Okay. Increment. Now there's two ways I can do this. I can obviously roll down. It's 25, 30 seconds. I can roll down until I hit the number I'm looking for. Or there's three quarters right there. But the other thing I want to do is let's go back to 13 sixteenths. I'll go absolute. Okay, well, there's one way. There's increment. Yeah, that's what I want, sorry. Increment, I want to take a sixteenth of an inch off. So let's go with that. Now let's measure it. Increment to zero, lift it up, put it in. Three quarters is exactly where I wanted it to be. So let's double check with the calipers. Just shy on here. Seven four two. That's what five thousandths of an inch at the tip. But that's you know we got snipe because it's a planer. Thousandths of an inch. Two thousandths of an inch, three thousandths, four, three. So we're within we're within a half of a ten thousandths of an inch to three thousandths of an inch, four thousandths of an inch, across the length of it just based off that. And I'm not sure there's many opportunities where the thickness over the overall length of your board is going to matter that, at that specification. So, pretty simple. I like it. It was simple to install. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.